Woody Allen's Manhattan opens with the sound of Gershwin, and the black and white shot of an urban skyline fills the screen. The film The Man in the Seventh Row is watching also opens with the sound of Gershwin, and the black and white shot of an urban skyline. Well, almost urban. Not countryside, anyway. Chapter 1 declares the voiceover with authority. He adored North Berwick. He idolised it out of all proportion. The skyline of slate roofs and chimney pots, the clock on the council chambers and the modest spire on St Andrew's Church is succeeded by a series of evocative, haunting monochrome images. The caravan park in Tintawan Road, the Bowen Greens in Clifford Road, the square, utilitarian library balk that looks like a public toilet in 4th Street. Ah, no, make that... He romanticised it out of all proportion, says the voice. No matter what the season was, North Berwick always existed in summer. It always existed in the 60s, at the push the 70s, and it pulsated to the great tunes, not of Gershwin, but of Donovan, Marmalade and the Bay City Rollers. Chapter 1. North Berwick is seen framed in the whale's jawbone on top of Berwick Law, the hill behind the town, and Gershwin is replaced on the soundtrack by Donovan, declaring that, first, there is a mountain. The town's vernacular, individualistic buildings cling to the narrow strip of land between the hill and the grey waters of the Firth of Forth. He was too romantic about North Berwick, says the voiceover. A small white motorboat carries visitors towards a gigantic plug of rock that rises sheer from the sea. Sunshine dances on the ruins of an ancient castle. Children build castles in the sand and watch the sea come in and knock them down, pulling away just a little more of the foundations with every incoming wave, until at last they collapse and are lost forever, like tears in the rain. He thrived on the holiday crowds. To him, North Berwick meant ice cream cones and beach huts, games of putting on the seafront, staying up late to go to the cinema and pokes of chips afterwards. Rows of villas stare across the road at a long stretch of beach, empty but for one distant figure. Chapter 1. He was as tough and romantic as the town he loved. Behind his blue eyes was a steely sharp edge of an easterly wind blowing in from the North Sea and sweeping down the high street. North Berwick was his town. It was a metaphor, a metaphor for the way we were. North Berwick was his town, and it always would be. The narrator pauses. Well, either North Berwick or Los Angeles. Los Angeles was bigger, Los Angeles, the city where the man in the seventh row now sat. He had once calculated that Los Angeles was 1,500 times bigger than North Berwick, in population terms. Los Angeles, city of angels, city of light, city of dreams, city of nightmares. He felt a lump in his throat. 